Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life, this is episode 6. So last time we escaped the Gargantua, a huge creature with flamethrower hands, and powered up this, well, tram car I guess, and now we're doing the chapter on a rail, which is regarded as, I guess, some people's least favorite chapter. But as you might expect from the name, we're going to be spending a lot of time on this tram in this chapter. Oh no, they're actually extending <laughs> with me. I wonder if there's a limit on the length of barnacle tongues. Because, like, how much of that can they fit inside that body? Alright. So, we have to watch out, because we are obviously a very easy target on this thing. There's not really a lot of cover. So we're gonna pop out the Magnum. It looks so tiny with the FOV turned up. Okay. I think we've got hostiles coming up. Which is why I'm not gonna blast through here at full speed for parts of this. So yeah, I, I'm surprised that they cut this from Black Mesa. I actually didn't know that until after it had already come out. Alright. I don't remember if this rail will actually kill me if I touch it, so let's find out. Yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure before I <laughs> found out at a very inopportune time. Let's back it up. Check out this stop here. So yeah, this is kind of like a maze of rails. Actually, I think we might have to turn around to get over there. Can I... Oh, okay, well I could swim over there, there's leeches. Okay. Thankfully the rail doesn't like insta-kill you or anything, it's just slow damage. You recognize that sound? That's the Left 4 Dead horde sound. This is where it originates from, is Half-Life. Okay, there's a bull squid. A lot of bones. Clearly these military guys did not have a good time with this bull squid. So I think this is an optional path, but I'm not 100% sure. At least there's plenty of ammo here. What is that sound? Hello? There's definitely something behind that wall. Okay, that's the rocket that we need to launch. At least I think it is. Because remember... Lambda needs to get that satellite into orbit so that they can try to reverse this. There's another bull squid down there. They really do seem to favorite goopy places. I mean, even when we saw them when we went through the teleporter, they were in like a pool of water. I mean, looking at them, they kind of look like they need moisture to stay moist. Okay, what's the deal with this room? I don't think we can get across here without raising the water level. Yeah, I think this is a dead end for the moment. 
Also, can we get back out? <laughs> uh, actually, I think I can probably crouch jump out. Get up here. Oh. It's a bridge. Yeah, so this is one of those chapters I don't actually remember very well, so I'm gonna be a little lost. I'm just kind of wandering around. But hey, we'll get back to the rail eventually. God damn it, there's a lot of damage. Man, these things are a lot more dangerous to the military than they are to us. Just like absolute slaughters anywhere they spawn. Okay, so these are satchel charges, which are pretty much just remote detonated explosives. They're very powerful, but I'll probably kill myself with them quite a few times. Okay, looks like we're full up, and this is a dead end. I don't think there's anything else here. That sounded like an elevator opening. You know, something else I haven't actually tested here. You can do this in Half-Life 2, but I don't remember if you can do it in Half-Life 1. You stick a grenade to a barnacle's tongue. Yeah, I know. I don't think the grenades have actual, like, collision. I mean, they do to some extent, because they bounced off of our head before. But I mean, like, they don't really have any, uh, weight to them that'll make them stick. Oh, this door opened. No, wait. I already opened this door. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, I was like, how did he even know I was here? But he was shooting at head crabs. Wow. There's a lot of head crabs in here. They're like one of the only enemies I would say that we still use the pistol on. Well, head crabs and head crab zombies. Despite being one of the most iconic parts of Half Life, they really are not much of a threat. You know, they're kind of like the trash enemy. <laughs> and then I nearly die to one. Ooh. Yeah, so I think this is the bottom of the rocket. So we can't do anything from down here. Boy, my health is not looking great. This was not a very good detour. But yeah, I think this back area is entirely optional. Alright, let's get back to our car before we start running around. As long as I don't stop moving, the leeches shouldn't hit me. Now the question is, where is another ladder to get out? Apparently there's an invisible wall here. Okay, I can crouch under it. Oh, dead guy down here. Come on. Oh, don't touch the rail. <laughs> okay, now where did I leave the car? Isn't it like right? God damn it. Okay, there's nothing else down here. Let's just hop up. I didn't go up here, did I? I don't remember driving back up. I think we just reversed. Oh, god damn it. Can we just, like, get out over here? Right there. No. There's just a floating leech back there. Yeah, I went back around that corner. I don't think we can get there from here. Yeah, this part right here is blocked. Alright, I might have screwed myself a little bit here. I mean, not taking any damage, but... All it would take was one mistake, and then I'm done for. Come on. I'm, like, very worried about touching the rail now. Okay. But I need to not just immediately slip off here like I've done every single time actually jump. Uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, this is a. Uh, <laughs> I made a terrible mistake here. Let's see. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. I mean, I'm still kind of like, you know, screwed on the actual cart, but at least we have a bunch more health now. I lost most of my health to this one bull squid. Alright. Let's grab the satchels again. I mean, there's only one there, but still. <laughs> I almost just walked into the other head crab. I don't think we need to go into the silo. Alright. So this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Like, no matter what. I suppose there's a shortcut. Okay, there's one of the switch points. So yeah, I think we need to drive here, switch over. And then... Reverse. Uh, okay, so... To get back to the tram cart, I really didn't expect us to have this much trouble on something like this. <laughs> To get back there, I'm going to have to perfectly jump across these, because as we saw, I could make it to the next one, but if I fail, I'm going to have to run all the way back every time, so I think I'm just going to quick load if I fall. If I can remember what the key is. Okay. Now, I had it, but then I ran off. I get this. Okay. And then save again. And I think I gotta make it to that one. Okay. <laughs> that was just me running straight forward. Try it again. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but we have recovered, and that's definitely gonna be saved. Full speed ahead, Captain. Also got to avoid obstacles like that. I guess bull squids don't attack hound eyes. Oh, that's a sentry gun. So which way is this going to go if I don't switch it? Straight ahead. To check out every path, you really do need to just not switch it at all and then switch it afterwards. Okay, so this set us back where we were. We've just done a loop now. I don't think you can actually rotate this one, so let's just run down here. Get whatever's in these boxes. Magnum bullets. 
And some nothing. I'm, like, afraid to touch the rails, even though I know it's only the middle rail that will electrocute me. Okay, jump forward. There we go. And that just cuts across. I like how video games always have you shoot these switching things, but, like, how would you normally activate these? I think you have to, like, stick a pole out. Okay, yeah, so we can't go this way until we raise this crane, which means we have to get up to the control room there. So really, we have to do a loop until we get everything done, and then we can go out that way. Okay, this is just... There's some ammo there, but it's a similar situation where if I get out, I'm going to have to swim and try to jump back across, so we're not going to bother with that yet. I definitely remember there being a lot more soldiers in this area. Health. A lot of barnacles. <laughs> and of course, there's a lot more leeches down here. How many places throughout Black Mesa do you think leeches just teleported into like a hallway? and just immediately died. Okay. I think we can just keep going now. Gotta take whatever supplies we can find. Okay, I think we've looped around, so this is where we saw the bones. That's me trying to do evasive maneuvers on the tram. It's just going really backward and forward like that. So I think this should lead us to the control room for the crane. We can get out of this first section of the rails. Yeah, there would have been a sentry gun waiting right here if we hadn't thrown a grenade. Alright, so we move that out of the way. And now we have to do another loop to actually get over there. Actually, we don't have to do a loop, because it's right here. Alright. Maybe it's this area that has more soldiers. Yeah, so this part's just kind of shitty because we're just completely out of cover.
but we don't have to actually stay on the elevator while it goes up. Where is this fuck? I think he was on an elevator as well, so... Jumping off was the best move there. Okay, I think he's right here. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Oh, man. Someone's firing grenades at me. Okay, I have two health now. I also don't remember them using rifle grenades. So yeah, that part's gonna be especially shitty if they're just dumping grenades on me. Okay, so this part's gonna be tougher. I think there's quite a few military in this area. Okay, yeah, the switch is broken here, so... We can't go that way. They just never stop firing. They never have to reload. There's a mounted gun here, which is... Kinda awkward to control. I don't really know why those guys weren't using it. Man, that guy really fucked me up. This is just us fucking throwing grenades back and forth. Come on, you fuck. I don't know how he missed, but... This other guy is just standing at the corner yelling go, but he won't actually... He won't actually go himself, I was gonna say. I think there's another one up here. He's gonna throw a grenade at me. Nope. He was just more patient than I was. Alright, uh, what's the plan here? I can throw a satchel charge up there, that'll fucking kill him. However, that only takes care of the one that was standing right there. Oh, man. Yeah, so the military are going to give me problems for the entire game. I can tell you that. Hmm. I mean, I could just do this. 
Except in the time that it takes to plant it, I'm already dead. <laughs> okay, that- I think that killed him still. I can't believe that hit me from here, from this far away. I just lost 11 health. Okay, maybe I can see why people don't like this chapter. <laughs> Especially playing on a higher difficulty. Oh good. The loading screen ate my grenade. Why was there just a guy hiding in there? I killed somebody. Clearly it wasn't the guy I was trying to. Okay, there should be one more around the corner. Yeah, go take care of the Vortigaunts. Is that all you got? And meat just rolls down the hallway. I mean, if you can shoot lightning from your hands, why would you ever run up to try and punch somebody? Okay, nothing useful in here. Our health is low. That's not a good sound. Okay, there's apparently just a lot of magnum bullets in here. Anytime I hear bullets, I'm worried, because I think they're shooting at me. I think they're all dead. I okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't hear any more Vortigaunts, so they might be dead, too. Boy, there was quite a slaughter here before we even showed up. But, the enemy of our enemy in this case is still our enemy. So, good that they're both dead. I can't believe the health kits only heal you for 10 on hard. That's so cheap. Alright. So, can't do anything here. But I think we want to clear out those slams. Where the hell did we leave the tram? I think that's it there, or that's another one. Ow, goddamn. Keep stepping on that middle rail. Yeah, I think we left the other uh, tram on a separate section of rail, so we're gonna need to take the new one, which is over here. Or is it the same one? No, this is the same one. Die. 
I just need to raise the blocker. Hmm. Alright, I'm a little lost now. I don't actually know where that switch is. Now I have to break these. I might as well just let them kill me because I just lost, like, 12 health to the rails. Okay, so, uh, I'm reversing my position on, on a rail. It is actually not a great chapter. Cool. Oh boy. We need to get out of here. Okay. So, I need to kill these Vortigaunts. I need to jump across without electrocuting myself, which means I have to just do it anyway. And again. There's the switch. Fucking sniper. Yeah, okay, so that is where it auto-saved. Oh, man. Alright, we need to go this way. Kill the Vortigaunts, save... And then kill the remaining Vortigaunts. Break these. I don't like these dead stops from loading screens when you're right next to the rails, because I'm worried that I'm just going to keep walking as soon as it loads in and run into the rail. Okay, so there's three Vortigaunts here. One of them... There. That should be all of them now. I don't know how to jump without actually moving first. Like, if you jump in place, you just go straight up. You can't, like, air control after you jump. So we raise the barriers. Kind of overkill there. This is where that elevator went. So let's charge up our suit. That'll keep us alive for about five seconds extra in a fight. Grab this med kit. Alright, we're still not doing great, but we're in a slightly better position. I guess... Ooh, you see that? Right there, that texture. <laughs> I don't know why it's buggy randomly. It doesn't seem anything weird there. We also know that there is two guys up on a ledge ahead. Right up here. Okay, they should not be able to hit me with a grenade here. But I should be able to hit them. Did I get him? I hear another guy. I hear a radio, so I'm like, <laughs> inching forward. What was that humming sound? Back to 
I like how they just straight up sound like fucking robots instead of radios. <laughs> that is affirmative. Alright, I think we actually have to get off a rail now. Just think how friendly these Vortigaunts are to Gordon Freeman in the second game. Is he... in here? No. Where were those military guys? Not even entirely sure how head crabs do damage to you. I think it's just those little hooks on their front feet. I smell an ambush. We'd better be careful. Hey, Barney. <laughs> Okay, I'll cover you. Do you want to get on my rail car? I guess I don't have a rail car anymore. Never mind. Do you want to be my meat shield? Yep, that is... I remember that. There's a mounted gun there. And I don't really remember how to deal with it. Survive this with all my parts. <laughs> well, doesn't seem to care about him. Surrender, Freeman. He spelled my name wrong. Or is there an E in it? I thought it was Gruden Freeman. The one free man. I think I can destroy this thing, though. Pretty sure I can just chuck a grenade in there. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, there's a guy in there. Okay. You can come out now, Barney. Actually, how do I get out of this room? Where are these? Hmm. Oh, okay, it just opens if I walk up to it. Okay, we've reached the upper level of the rocket. Lookout, check in. The guy right below. I think he was the only one. But like I said before, they there's no shortage of <laughs> magnum ammo they give you in this game. Alright. So I don't know if we're going to finish this chapter in this episode. I was kind of hoping to get it done. But now I'm not sure. I think we still got a ways to go. Ooh. Alright, 
that was a case where it's better to just blast on through. All right, rocket turret. Hmm. <laughs> Exploded on impact. I don't know if you can actually avoid triggering that. I think even if I crouch there, it still triggers the security guns. You're dead, Freeman. Look, they don't teach Marines to spell. I know these guys aren't actually Marines. I'm pretty sure they're just Army. Army Special Forces. Alright, well, uh, I was hoping there would be health in there. So there's a rocket turret, but there's a man actually, you know, aiming it. I like that this thing stopped right at the loading screen barrier. That's cool. So, that guy will shoot at you even if he can't see you, and the splash damage will kill you. I mean, I can't see him. He's kind of standing behind the damn thing. Alright, and now I've learned that it can't hit you if you're crouching. <laughs> because the rockets, like, go up. Oh, actually, this might have been what killed me. My grenade, I think, set that off, so I can't actually mount this myself. Alright, we gotta be almost done here. We haven't launched the satellite delivery rocket yet, though. Die, Freeman! I didn't realize that these soldiers were carrying around cans of spray paint just to leave threatening messages. Clearly, I just didn't remember this chapter very well, and that's why I didn't think it was so bad. Though I still think when I play Black Mesa, I'll probably add this back in, just to see if it's still as bad. Okay. This is a bunch of Vortigaunts. At least if they come from the front, I can duck behind the control panel. Of course, wasn't paying attention to how much ammo I had left in the shotgun. Yeah, so Vortigaunts, like, they're a pretty regular enemy, but they do a shit ton of damage with that lightning. And, like, I was talking before when I did that first impressions on Quake, and I kept playing a little bit more. The, I think they're called Vors? Just like the big yetis that shoot lightning? Are just like even more annoying Vortigaunts. Because they have way more health. Okay. 
I gotta actually reload my shotgun. Also, I have to remember to use walk a little more often, because, you know, your default speed is still pretty quick for this style of FPS game. We haven't yet got to the point in game design where they decided you have to walk at human speeds. So, sometimes I need to walk because otherwise I'll walk off of an edge or something. I see another Vortigaunt. Doesn't see me though. Shot him right in his big goddamn eye. Okay. There is another cart. Notice how, like, most of this rail system doesn't seem to really lead anywhere. There's no, like, special areas here. It's just a hallway. <laughs> That was also a underbarrel grenade. He just fired it at the fucking crates. Are you kidding me? He didn't even know I was here yet. He's like, well, I hear a noise over there. Better start firing grenades. I definitely didn't remember them being able to use the underbarrel launcher as well. Thought it was only throwing grenades. Fucking psychopath just ran straight at me. Okay. I think that might actually be our our same cart again. I keep thinking we're getting a new one. But I think I just opened both sides so that we can continue. Alright, let's save. And let's get back on. No, this is a new one because it's in a dead end. Alright. Please tell me we're almost done with this chapter. I see a mounted gun. I don't see anyone on it, though. I don't like the look of this room. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I think they have a bigger gun and a better position than I do here. But... Same strategy as the previous one. Don't fire in the hole. Look how far that grenade went. It went from over in that corner all the way to over there. And that was just a regular grenade. I think one of them just killed himself. Come on, you fuck. Turns out that's actually not a very good room to try to throw grenades out of. Okay, I think everyone's dead. We didn't have enough health to actually use the mounted gun. 
But there's a health pack here, and there's a health station up there. If I can figure out how to get up there, I can heal up. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, I think we're almost done with on a rail. Pretty sure this was the last, like, big room we need to do. And this door doesn't open. Oh, come on. Get, get out of the way. I mean, there was another elevator there. Jesus fucking Christ. I think this is another case where it's better to let the elevator take our car. Very funny game. Very funny. You know what I can do, actually? They gave me a satchel charge here. I can, uh, throw that there. That'll save me the trouble. Okay, I say meat, so it definitely killed somebody. Blew his skull right out of his head. I think I can get over here, too. Yeah, there's some more underbarrel grenades. Let's not just fall to the bottom. There might still be a guy alive above. I don't think that explosion <laughs> would have had anything to do with this top floor. Hello? Okay. So we're not quite done the chapter yet, but we've survived most of it, and I think that's enough for this episode. It's already pretty long, and I thought we'd be able to knock this out in one but it's a little more annoying than I thought. So, until next time, thank you for joining me for more of Half-Life, and I hope you are enjoying this trip. Even despite the chapter. Till next time, y'all take care.